Restricted Internet Access is a built-in OpenVPN cloud feature which allows you to block all internet access for selected user groups, devices, and network except to the trusted configured internet destination. Restricted Internet Access enables organizations to control employees' access for both internal and external applications. When Internet Access is set to Restricted, all traffic, internet and private traffic, is tunneled to WPC. Then WPC can route the traffic to all authorized applications for the user. These authorized applications can be apps hosted in a private network or it can be public websites and apps that are being routed through private networks. All other traffic that are not authorized are going to be dropped. Restricted Internet Access gives the ability to restrict secure access to authorized trusted Internet destinations using encryption and tunneling and blocking all other Internet traffic. Defines and enforces Internet access policies for users. Protects devices and your network from breaches. Now, in the next segment, we will look at the configuration steps for restricted Internet access. In our use case, we have field technicians who are in charge of installation and maintenance of appliances at clients' locations. They connect their laptops to the devices directly and run updates and diagnostic tools. These devices are all operating on Microsoft platform, so they need to be able to connect to Microsoft website and all its subdomains. Per our company compliance policy, we need to limit their internet connection to just Microsoft website and everything else needs to be blocked. So steps to do this, we're going to add Microsoft website as a domain route to our network. We are going to configure our field technician group's uh, internet access to restrict it. We will create an access group for the field technicians to allow access only to Microsoft website. And then at the end, we're going to test the configuration and setup. As you can see, I'm logged into the uh, OpenVPN uh, cloud administration portal. First thing, we're going to go to networks and we're going to choose our network and we're going to add a domain route to our network. So first thing we're going to do here on the configuration page of the network, click on the plus sign next to the domains, and we're going to add Microsoft.com here and click on confirm. Once the domain is added, we're going to add the service. So click on add service, and then uh, I'm going to just call it Microsoft.com again. The domain is going to be Microsoft. It's already selected. I'm going to leave it there, and then for the protocols, I'm going to choose HTTP, HTTPS, and FTP. And then I'm going to click on Create here. So if I go to Destination Services tab up here, you can see my Microsoft service has been created and the protocols that we're going to use. So the next step, we're going to click on Users and we're going to go to Groups. As you can see, my field technicians group here and the Internet access is set to split tunnel on. We're going to click on the little edit button on the uh, right side and then uh, choose restricted internet access uh, from the drop down. Once done, click on confirm. So now, as you can see, our group has restricted internet. Now we need to create an access group. So go ahead, click on access and then groups. And we're going to create a um, an access group uh, for the field technician, so I'm going to name it field tech. Uh, click on create access group here, and then I'm going to name field techs for the um, access group name. Then uh, for the groups, I'm going to ch uh, choose field techs, and then uh, for the access destination is going to be Microsoft.com. Once these two selected, click on create, and we have our access group set right now. Now let's go back to users and who, uh, see who is a field tech. So Artemis and Debbie, they both field techs. I'm going to choose uh, one of the profiles. Artemis is here, so I'm going to choose Artemis's profile. Bring up the Connect app and go ahead, toggle the switch to connect. Okay, we are connected uh, with Artemis's profile. So I'm going to bring uh, another uh, 
uh, tab for the browser and uh, let's test the connection so I'm gonna first go to google.com so since we're on the restricted internet we shouldn't be able to reach the, this website as you can see the site cannot be reached now I'll test again I'm gonna go to msn.com and I should get the same results so the site cannot be reached now let's go ahead and uh, put microsoft.com uh, we should be able to access microsoft.com here and as you can see the page is up now we need to test to make sure that we can um, connect to the subdomains of Microsoft also so one of them is going to be support.microsoft.com this is the page that our technicians will need to access uh, to run the diagnostic tools and, uh, and access the knowledge base and as you can see the support.microsoft.com is accessible everything else is blocked and inaccessible